Hey everybody, my name is Kedrick and welcome back to Subnautica with Kedrick. Uh, for this video, I'm not going to be doing the box on box overlay so you can see what I'm doing in game the whole time. Just for editing purposes, I don't have quite as much time right now. Um, but I hope you enjoy the video and I wanted to say that I really appreciated all the positive feedback that, um, that everybody's given me on the channel. And thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this video as well again just let me know what you think throw a comment down there and a like if you like it have a good day and enjoy the video right. here we are back into Subnautica really fun game um, so my last time that I played uh, I Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Uh, oh, what the hell? Alright, so last time I was in game and I wasn't recording, I was building this base. Or no, no, no. Scratch that. I was building a base that was over in this direction somewhere. Uh, on top of these, no, actually that direction. On top of these floaty rocks. Yeah, it's just like rocks floating, like little floating islands down to the water. And it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. It was huge. I think I got up to like, at least close, no, I think I went over the 2,000 points of structural integrity. I mean, the thing was fucking massive. And I was even stretched down, all the way down to like 300 kilometer depth. Uh, I'm not going to go over. But it was awesome. I have pictures of it I could throw up on, on here. I might do that. Um, but I, I think whenever you build too much or your base gets too big, um, the, the game just can't handle it. I went to save the game and the whole computer froze up and the save file was corrupted and now I had to start all over again. So, here we go. I'll show you what I have. I got the rad suit, you know, all the, the tools and everything that are good to have. Built a nice little base here. And now, I'm gonna get my Seamoth and my submarine. And since it's a new game, I'm gonna go over here and explore the aurora a little bit. So let's get to it. What do I need? Alright, I was already working on getting the, uh, the Cyclops. So I have a few things. Let's see. It looks now like you have to make the Cyclops before you can get the, uh, I call her Wanda, the little submersible little sea moth. Before you can get the sea moth. So let's see. Foster ingot, and then glass, advanced wiring kit. I got the advanced wiring kit. I've got the glass and, let's see, I need to make steel ingots to turn into glass steel ingots. I gotta go get the lithium for it to make it glass steel. I think I should have enough. Oh no, I have enough for like one. I think. I'm gonna take 10 of these to make steel ingot, or not steel. Why do I keep saying steel? It's titanium. So I need one more titanium to make the ingot. Just walk them way over there. At least just for now. I'm gonna make a locker right here. This will be helpful. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Break that one down. 
go ahead and make a new dinner for now. some more of those uh what do you call them stalker teeth and i need titanium titanium and stalker teeth all right so let me drop that i'm gonna keep that on stalkers have been a pain in the butt you know what i've thoroughly searched this area so, uh, what i'm gonna go do i'm gonna go to the other area with the Somewhere that the, the fiber thingy mabobbers poking out of your own. I think there's some over here. Really, didn't we just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go look for stalker teeth in this area. If you see any point them out, I think I'll just keep like passing by them and just don't see them or something. Really hard to see. Ah, crap. And they put those guys in there. Those guys will follow me everywhere. Screw those guys. over here. Maybe I'll find the stalker tooth. I'm about to run out of here. More bleeders. Oh, stalker tooth. Warning. 30 ah. seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, they're following me up here. Crap. There's a stalker tooth down here. There it is. Stalker tooth. So that's number two. Ah. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Hmm, sure. this Alrighty. I really hope my mic is on right now. I should test that. I suck. It wasn't on. So I want to thank everybody for all the positive feedback on my channel. Well, I, I do this stuff just because I enjoy it. I don't monetize my channel. Um, so it's just fun. 
and a lot of people have really given me a lot of positive feedback and I just want to say thank you for that you know it, it really is a nice thing I didn't think anybody would really pay attention to my channel or anything that I uploaded so this is awesome thank you and um, there was one person that said I lied about something and was just trying to get uh, more subs I just want to say or I actually ask you know what am I lying about <laughs> I don't know what I lied about but uh, if so I apologize but um, to get more subs I can, I can say something about that I mean like I said I don't do this for money uh, you know my wife and I make good money so we're we're good I just do this because I enjoy it have fun with it and I hope you guys enjoy it you know if you guys don't enjoy it it's not really worth doing because I, I mainly ooh, look at this too I mainly do it because I enjoy the uh, the editing process. So what is that? That's four. Yeah, four now. Four teeth. One more. I enjoy doing the the video editing. It's pretty cool. You know, when my computer doesn't crap out on me and freeze up and I lose all my shit. So it, it's fun. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And thank you very much for watching my channel, giving me. Um, Warning, you know, feedback, whether it's positive or negative, even negative feedback, you know, something to learn from. So if you see, you know, things that you would like to have improved on my channel, you know, um, I know I need to be more active, more engaging, but like I said, well, actually I said it in another video, but I didn't upload that video. I, I've recorded three other videos of different games, um, and I didn't upload them just because, you know, during the, the editing process I decided I just didn't like them. But this one, I don't care if I like it or not. You guys have been asking for more videos, and this one's going up no matter what. Oh, hey, look, I fired my base. This one will be up. So, pretty much just thank you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. But uh, I think I was in the middle of the vault there, and I didn't finish what I was saying. I don't remember. I'm ADD, so uh, that happens. I'm trying to think now. Nope, got nothing. Oh, right. I'm talking about like Jacksepticeye is very active and boisterous and has a lot of stuff to say. And you know, I try and be more like that, but it takes practice, I think. Um, if you go back and you look at Jack's earlier videos, he isn't. His style was a lot different. It wasn't quite as defined as it is today. So I think after a while, maybe I can get to that point. Maybe. And like in this video, I'm not doing the little, I'm not going to put the recording of myself up in the corner. Um, I think that plays into that a little bit. Uh, maybe if I don't have the camera on me, I can uh, express myself a little more easily, I think. So we're going to try that out. One, two, three, four. Ah, I need one more tooth. One more tooth. Oh, I did not need to do that. Hmm. Well, we're not in the submarine or anything like that. I heard if you drop your stasis rifle in the submarine, the submarine will sink. So I don't know. I've never done that. That'd be cool to see. Uh, let's see, so I need another tooth. What are my battery doing? 12%? I don't need another battery. Mushrooms! Oh, wow. These things must have respawned. Okay, uh, what was it? Mushroom and copper. I got copper in here. I think the copper's still over in this one. Oops. Copper. I got an extra power cell there. I'm going to use that to make the sea moth with. So I have that ready. Or the submarine. I don't remember if the submarine, the Cyclops, needed a power cell to make it. What am I doing? Battery. Battery. Okay. And looking for more. One more tooth. That is the one problem I have with this game. Is I'll be out. Oh, look, two. I'll be out looking for stuff and I'll forget what I was going to do with the stuff. Or I'll get one thing and I'll forget what the next thing was. So 
that's all my enamel glass. So now I just need to get more titanium. And beep. Yeah, I just need to get more titanium. Let's throw that in there. I'm gonna need that. And you. And let's go. That's it. I don't like going over the top of that. Okay. Maybe we'll get more titanium. Make some titanium ingots. Cyclops now, apparently, before you get the, um, the sea moth, then, uh, yeah, getting lithium is going to be a bit of a hassle. Okay, titanium, where are you? Where are you, titanium? There's a stopper. Where are you going? going for, no, you're going after it. see a stalker too. Oh. Go away, stalker. I'm done with you. Okay, well, let's go off of this way. Morning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, there's the this way. I think I should find some titanium in this direction. Oh, he's still There's some titanium. It, titanium. Titanium in this area over here is kind of hard to find now because I took most of it for building that base. Quartz. There's more quartz in the area because I didn't need nearly as much quartz. So I came over this way because I knew I didn't go this way as much for base. Save something that's still here. How many creatures in one area that you take? You know what I mean? You can do. I think you can take all of them in one area, and then you can't find them. Right? And then you're screwed. So I'm gonna try not to do that this time. New creature discovered.
See, the sea moth is not an option. No. So I think once I get the cyclops, then I can make the sea moth. I don't know. It was the other way around before. Before, you had the sea moth on there, and then once you made a sea, a sea moth, then the cyclops showed up. It was not doing that this time. It's this way, and that's how I'm going to do it. And that's going to be a bit of a challenge. But hey, challenges make it fun. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, is it gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. All good. That went better than I thought. Ooh, this thing looks different now. Doesn't it? I think it looks different. Alright. That's all I need. Let's go back. I need somebody try to go. All the way over to the Aurora with just the sea god. Reaper comes up out of nowhere. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, base. New creature discovered. Alright, yeah, we'll go ahead and stay fish. Excuse me. Reaper. Okay. 
Oh yeah. So that should be everything. Top of my little pod. Don't land on my pod. Oh no. Oh, I gotta get screenshots of this. Seriously, why is there no sea moth? first started this game, I went out and grabbed all the, I went out and grabbed all the different fragments, just real quick that I could get, and apparently, the fragment for the sea moth didn't finish correctly or something, whatever, so it's, it's not detecting that I analyzed the fragment for the sea moth, so all I gotta do is go over here and grab this sea moth fragment. That's all I gotta do, no baby. Here we go, here's my baby. That's good. See you Copper. One copper. Alright, copper down here.
of course. On top of the hill. Stay strike will do not need a sea glide. Let's go.
similar in deficiency. is right here. Right here. I don't know how many... Ah, oh, crap, I didn't bring the wheel there. Okay, so this is how we go. Energy particle containment fuel restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Aquatic radiation readings returning to safe levels.
efficiency module that disappears when you turn the game off. Which I want to see that not happen anymore. I'm tired of that thing disappearing. like it hit the like button uh, if not it doesn't matter it's not monetized <laughs> so have a good day everybody and thank you for watching